of this might be enough but we're gonna keep going and finish them let's keep going and if you have no idea what's going on go back on my channel and watch the previous video what have we or watched the previous five videos i don't know how i'm gonna upload these um there oh yeah okay this october 10 1947 again that's my birthday too bad this isn't a case again um a quick reminder uh if you have a birthday any time during the year, chances are this collection, one of the watches, or two of the watches in this case, this is the second one made in October 10th, uh, was made on your birthday in the 40s or 50s or 30s or even 20s. Let's keep going. Style 5 Pocket Ben. Um, what was I saying earlier? I don't even know. Come on, here we go. These probably haven't been opened in age. Well, we've already been through this, haven't we? October 25th, 1954. Yeah, this is the absolute craziest. This, I mean, this blows the night of $1,001 pocket watches out of the water. This is actually getting close to 1000 That may be an exact... Oh, look, this watch actually looks half decent. Oh, wait. Well, I spoke too soon. It seems to want to reset itself at any which time, so okay. Or, sorry, um, like, the crown is not, this is not functioning properly. That's okay. Okay. Oh, and that was opened last. These are all completely fresh, by the way. Like, I'm opening these for the first time on camera and seeing them. Uh, September 9th, 1952. Oh, what is it? Oh, this one finally, oh, May 19th, 1953. Did someone service this? Or did someone get it that day? Probably. I mean, well, I don't know why in the world you'd you'd um you'd service it one year after you've owned it. I think you'd put that there as like a reminder. Oh yeah, I got it in nineteen fifty three. This could have been new old stock sitting around. You never know. I mean, it's it's made late in the year, you know, in September. So, you know, it could have been bought by May. Just a guess, of course. I don't know any of the stories for these. I don't even know if Ben knows the stories for these. Who the heck knows? There's so many here. I mean, how many How many can you get? How many can you remember? West Clock Dax Dial. Who knows if that's one from the 30s or if that's one from the 60s. And if you've seen the last part, you'll know what I'm talking about. Ooh, another early case, at least. I don't know what that dial is. I don't recognize that number font. Uh, it doesn't look like any... Let's see what's in here. Okay, it's an early movement for sure. So I'm getting all these early movements in this fiasco. Yeah, I don't recognize that. I don't recognize that at all. Okay. I'm just going to put that back together. That's one of the early ones though for sure. That could be a pocket bin. Who the heck knows? No pendant on that either, of course. Look at the dis look at all the dirt. No, I mean, there's a reason why I'm wearing gloves, you guys. <laughs> this is Dax. Another Dax. I love the Art Deco dial on these. These are awesome. Oh, the balance wheels popped out of place. Hairspring looks good, though. Uh, January 9th, 1940. Interesting. There's probably, like, eight different historical events that I just haven't even acknowledged that have, like, you know, throughout these all these watches here. I've just been popping them apart, checking the dates, and not even thinking about what occurred on these dates. Like, World War II could have ended in... <laughs> there was a watch from 1946 it was from december of 46 earlier oh this one's from 1940 october oh this is from halloween 1940 interesting hmm that's neat okay um oh this was complete yeah okay we're not going anywhere with that uh what was i saying oh yeah there's probably yeah eight different historical dates here that i've <laughs> actually what am i talking about why eight more like would have got like 60 watches here probably 70 
We definitely have more than 70. This, this is getting up into the 80s range. Uh, they just keep coming, you guys. Anyway, there's probably a whole bunch of historical dates I haven't acknowledged here. Uh, simply because I don't, uh, I haven't just haven't thought of it. Um, what was I made? Uh, March 31st, 1942. These are during the war, too. Like, I don't know when West Clocks stopped. I think we've gotten, like, or stopped production, I mean. I, I bring, I've brought this up multiple times now. Is, um, West Clock stopped for a period in, 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 during the Second World War. This one's from 1969. This tape is older than probably everybody want well actually not every no offense guys but this probably isn't older than everybody watching uh definitely older than me though uh what was i saying here again <laughs> uh let's oh, it's just gonna run i might want to actually run believe it or not that's not bad for considering the circumstances oh geez i just okay we'll get on to that later now oh, another dax I'm not even, I don't even know what I was saying. Uh, Mar or April 6th, 1947. Yeah, there's, there's dates and there's, you know, all kinds of stuff. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, this is, oh, that's okay. This watch has no dial, but they've got the, uh, this is from, this is already from the late 50s because uh, these wheels break off on the late 50s, 60s ones. Also, I see this had, like, some remnants of some kind of t price tag or something at one point. And it was resold, yeah, it's from 1959. I June 1959. June is the sixth month, right? I, yeah, I, I'm gonna just say so. I hope it's right. Off the top of my head here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't even remember what I was saying earlier. Destroyed hairspring. That this is my train of thought. What you're looking at right here. That balance wheel probably is good to go though, knowing how this stuff works. So we're gonna reuse that. I need to look into getting new hairsprings for this stuff, like replacing, you know, getting a new hairspring, and then trying to get it to fit these. For 16th, 1940. This March. Another pilot dial. A pocket bend case back. There's more case backs in here. Don't worry, guys. Another one. There's nothing on that one. Nope. This case. According to West Clock, according to a former employee at the American plant, West Clock made like 9,000 pocket watches per day. Apparently. This is what I've heard. I don't know if it's true or not. But, uh... Yeah, so, I'd believe it. September 11th, 1952. That's the second time we've had a watch from on 9-11. So, you know, like, we've already been, like, I think, yeah, this is this is the second one. There's one from 1954, and there's one from 9-11-1952. Don't make any, never mind. I don't even want to talk about that. Uh, okay. Oh, there's another gold Dax. That's different. I like these gold ones. You don't, you don't see them as much. 1962. These, of course, later on, they just gave the month and the year. They didn't give you the exact day. I don't. I think they probably figured that, you know, the average Joe probably doesn't need to know that. And even even a watchmaker, if these will even get to that point, don't need to know. It doesn't need to know that. Yeah, these gold maxes are kind of neat, actually. Okay, well guys, we're getting kind of the end here. Oh my goodness, man. Oh, luminous pocket bend as the camera tries to dive into it here. Uh, look at the luminous pocket bend. There's that older dial. It's a style five. Oh no, it's one of the reproduction ones. Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's not. Oh, it's an original. Okay. December 27th, 1941. Okay. Cool. As you can see, this one from 19, the 1960s is just flying up here. It's barely even wound. There's some spare bits and bobs. I'm just going to leave those at the bottom of the case. Uh, this one was made April 1967. Sorry about the camera falling over, you guys. I'm just trying to fix this. We're trying to get this to work right. 
This is the Dax. What else have we got? I've got actually two of these. I just realized I, I just set one aside here. We're going to look inside it. Uh, when are you from? 6, 1935. Okay. These guys are probably both the same age. Yeah, 1935. That's very in style for 1935. This would be a very modern watch for a time. The, or the late Art Deco uh, era. When are you from? 1940. 325-1940. Okay, this one's younger. I think these were discontinued in like 43, I think. Well, I guess they didn't look as modern. This is an interesting anomaly. Oh, it's... Never mind. Here, let's open it. Yep. Um, I don't know what to say to that, but I'm not going to complain. It's quartz, and I, it is also target practice. Uh, I like the case, though. It's kind of nice. I like the flip-open cases. I think those are always kind of neat. Don't worry, guys. We're getting to the end of it. It's almost over. There's only a few left. Uh, November 1967. Another pilot. This, this is making me wonder here. How long did this pilot thing go on for? I thought these were done by the time the brass movement is in this movement here. I thought when this went out... The pilot went with it, and it was just all Daxes from there, but obviously not. Unless I'm just getting confused and thinking of something else, which is also entirely possible. Uh, whoops, I just dropped that. November 3rd, 1949. Yeah, if your birthday is any time during the year, <laughs> you're, you're, you're guaranteed to have at least one watch. Oh, here we go again. Wait, no, didn't I already look at this? Oh, shoot. I think I just threw it back in. I think, okay, we already looked at that. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Oh, wait, no, there's one more. There's a couple, there's a few case backs, and then there's one more. I'm almost sad I've reached the end, to be completely honest with you, but then I look at the giant pile in front of me, and then I re rejoice. Okay, there's a few case backs. I'm just pulling them out of here. Who knows when these were last put in here, right? Like, <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, no, we won't look at that yet. We'll we'll save the last watch. We'll save the last watches for the very end. There's that. The pressing Dax. Not much to say about that. We've already seen that. Case back. Dax. That inside looks great. Case back. Dax. Scotty. Whatever the heck. Case back. For whatever the heck, Dax, Scotty, you get the idea. Uh, we'll look at this another style five pocket bin. Oh, this isn't even. There's nothing in here. This is a dial. Can you imagine? Like, where the heck is the movement for this? It's probably in the pile here. Actually, it's probably up in there, um, in that drawer there, where I've got all my parts movements. And if you want to see what's in there, like this is a series. So you go back. I've I've looked through absolutely every single thing on camera. So if you want to see anything in this collection, it's in the video. This is the very last watch that we've got. Uh, there's no more. We look through them all. There's fully a pile. It looks like a junkyard. Oh, and this is all out of the bottom drawer too. When is this from? February of 1935. Hairspring is foobard. That's it. We're done. We've made it. I've survived. I've done it. We've gone through them all. Very briefly, but we've gone through, like, I mean, there's just so many. You can't. That's just the bottom drawer. And, of course, there's just the table. is absolutely disgusting because these things are so old. Well, they're old, but they're dirty, too. So my case opener uh, blade protector is buried in these somewhere. I think I just threw it somewhere, and then these all just got piled up on top of it. Um, yes, guys. Uh, okay, so just to make this absolutely clear, I didn't pay a cent for any of this, at least not yet. And 
This is all Ben's collection, so we're going to see what he wants to do with it. Um, oh, here's my case opener blade. Let's put it to the side. It hasn't been lost. We're going to see what he wants to do with it. Um, as for stuff I actually bought at this antique show, there, there will be an episode. I'm not even sure how I'm going to do this. I think to break up the monotony of all these dollar watches, I think the way you're probably going to end up seeing it is there's probably going to be at least one episode in there where where um i just show all the stuff that i actually got and not all these pocket watches i saw other dollar watches at the show or at least one other dollar watch i didn't even buy it it was for a good price it was one of uh let me see if i can even find it here it was little oh okay i've just gone from the second drawer it was literally one of these for like 20 bucks and i've <laughs> And I was go I was on my way to pick all of these up before I left the flea market, the antique show flea market, whatever. And I just thought, no, I'm not doing that. No more dollar watches for like a very long time. You won't see me scouting around on eBay for a very long time for dollar watches. Only, oh yeah, yeah. No, it, it's over, you guys. If you're wondering why my voice is going all weird, it's because my throat is now getting sore from all this talking and I'm trying to mentally comprehend all this goodness. But we'll get working on it, you guys. We'll get working on it. Look at all the history. <laughs> these hands have held so much history. These gloves. Oh, yes. These are new gloves, too. This is the first time I've used these for anything really dirty. So... Anyway, that's not, none of that is relevant. Um, yeah, so, uh, there will be videos on these. There will be videos on, if there hasn't been already, and you're watching this before I've figured everything out. Uh, it depends on how it all be, how it will all be released. And, uh, we'll just go from there, I guess. Don't, I don't know. Oh, it's all alarming antiques, though. Is this alarming? Uh, yes, because the I have a thousand one dollar pocket watches is alarming. But this is like, this completely blows that out of the water, man. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. But, you know what, guys? It's fine. It's fine. I, you know, th these had, uh, all of these have a story. All, nothing's getting thrown out. Oh, let's look in the bottom of this just so you can see. There's that one luminous one. That we just put back in there because the dial or the crystals cracked screws and a, a gear wheel or two i see a, a dial washer you know there's one of the there's one of the hooks whatever the heck it's called one of the tabs or things you screw on to uh to get the uh, watch to actually stay in the case all west clock goodness all the drawers you know we've been through these already i've just put them back and it's abs it's an absolutely amazing collection of dollar watches. I've never seen one this big before. It's huge. It's huge, you guys. And I have access to it. So with that, guys, I think I've kept you around here long enough. Um, thank you for stopping by. If you have suggestions, questions, comments, how to polish cases, where to how to measure crystals, um how to, I don't know, hairspring rebending tips. Man, I'll take anything you got. If you just think all this is cool, then say so. But otherwise, guys, that's that'll be it from me for now in this in the front of the dollar watches. Um, I, I remember one of my, or a friend of mine specifically requested that I do more dollar watch content. There will be more stuff coming. Um, hopefully this has satisfied him. <laughs> um, yes. All right, guys, that's enough. That's enough for me. I will see you in the next episode, uh, whether that be me looking at my stuff I bought from the show or whether that just be some kind of service. Anyway, it'll all be numbered and figured out for you. But anyway, thanks, you guys, and goodbye.